Hello and welcome back to Achieva Wolf Collection. Or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I feel so cheery today. I'm like, welcome to the channel. <laughs> if you're into Sailor Moon, and let's be real, you probably are if you're watching this video, you need to slam that subscribe button and turn notifications on because I do a lot of the Sailor Moon videos and I think you might like it here. Today I am unboxing and checking out my figure arts minis of Super Sailor Moon and Super Sailor Chibi Moon from Sailor Eternal the movie. Now these little guys had two different release dates. There was the Japanese release and then there was also the international release which is happening right now. Now mine are the Japanese release and the Japanese release came out in January 2021. They retailed about 2,700 yen each. I personally bought mine from AmiAmi.com and of course on my Facebook and on my Twitter I shared pre-order links if you wanted to get the Japanese version. AmiAmi had had them, CD Japan had them, Hobby Link Japan had them, a variety of different Japanese retailers carried these, but also these do get an international release too. So there was also pre-order links for the international side, which these are just now coming out on the international side. So stock is trickling in from a lot of retailers such as Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, Toy Wiz, um, I, I believe Barnes & Noble is going to carry these. Box Lunch just started stocking these on their website. That is the release date for these. That was March 2021, which is this month. If I get this video edited in time, it might be in April when I drop this video. I don't know. But over here on the international side of things, specifically the United States, these retailed $29.99. Now remember I said these are sold at a variety of different shops. So let's say, for example, you want to buy these on Box Lunch. Now the way that Box Lunch and Hot Topic works, they always price them higher than their actual retail cost because you know there's coupons you can apply on those types of shops and they do a lot of sales. So these are higher on Hot Topic and Box Lunch. So don't overpay. I try to tell collectors that because you know sometimes they don't have a sale going on and it will be their regular cost of, I don't remember what it was, it was like $34.90 on Hot Topic and Box Lunch. So make sure you don't overpay for these guys because they're going to be widely available. I'm excited to open up these little dudes. I love these figure arts minis. I already collected all of the inner guardians from the 90s. Those were the first ones to release of this line, but these are our first Sailor Moon Eternal ones. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing part of this video. Here they are. Aren't they adorable? So here's the front of the box. They are pretty much identical to their 90s version, which was released a while back. So you can expect the same type of box and the same type of style on the box on the Sailor Moon Eternal ones. But we'll go ahead and take a peek at every feature on the box. Here is the top of the box, which has the Tamashi Nation's quality sticker, which is one of the authenticity stickers that you can expect on an officially licensed product. That's how you know you got a legit one. Another sticker you want to check for will be on the bottom on the Japanese versions. The Japanese version will have a gold toy animation sticker somewhere on the box. Mine happened to be on the bottom. I'm unsure if they're consistent with that but this is the Japanese version so it'll be a gold sticker with Japanese writing if for some reason you do get the international version this is what the sticker will look like on an international version you see that we have a silver Toei animation sticker and it's in English so they're both officially licensed you won't have to worry about it you'll either get a gold sticker or a silver sticker one of the sides of the box and then the other side just shows a picture of each character the back of the boxes just showing some features of the figures inside so we'll open up super sailor moon first this doesn't have a top or a bottom they just have a piece of tape on the sides here and you can just cut the tape really easy just like the other ones it has an exchanging arm parts it just tells you just to pop them off and pop the other one in it's as simple as that here you'll see the figure and then her additional arm part with the Kaleido Moon Scope. Ah, oh, fuck, I always forget these are taped. They also tape the plastic on the inside. Forgot about that. It's been a while since I opened those other ones. 
There we go. Look at her arm. Her arm just flopped over there. Oops. Look at the detail. It's the uh, rod part of this is clear. It looks beautiful. Let's take you out, Super Sailor Moon. Here is the stand. Remember, she comes with a little stand, an additional arm piece, and the figure herself. Oh, she's beautiful. I love the sculpt of her hair. This is what I was worried about. Some other collectors have already received theirs and they were saying there was some sort of blue gradient on the actual skirt. That looks kind of bad, doesn't it? I mean, it obviously doesn't look like it's supposed to be a gradient of the skirt colors because look these are all solid stripes that's a little disappointing there aren't any flaws on her face i'm so happy everything else looks to be a pretty good paint job here's the back and this part right here is where you will put the stand into her back her clear bow piece super cool you know we're gonna have to pop out this arm to put that other arm in remember just squeeze and twist to get her arm off so i thought i broke her bow when I was putting it on her arm but her bow does come off but it can just be put back in like that so be mindful of that it's not broken if it pops off don't ask me how many times this stupid thing popped off when I was trying to put her other arm on it keeps falling off look there it goes fuck I got her other arm on and she looks so cool she's ready for battle guys we'll go ahead and pop in her stand first okay Everything is assembled. Oh, let's hope Chibi Yusa goes a lot smoother. So here is Super Sailor Chibi Moon. We're gonna open her just like we did Super Sailor Moon. These are gonna look so beautiful on display. Remember, they're taped. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the tape on each side. There she is. So pretty. What the hell? Her skirt looks fine. Oh my God. Doesn't it look good? Why was Sailor Moon's all fucked up? Oh, now I'm pissed. Do you see this guys? Is this clear? Is this clear to you that Sailor Moon's skirt looks blue? That's terrible. Well, at least Super Sailor Chibi Moon's isn't. Although now I wish they both were like that so they didn't look so different. Go ahead and get the stand out and her other arm piece, which let's see if this one goes on easier probably because her hair isn't as long as sailor moon's all right bose you stay in there oh i think i just popped her head off oh great oh, that'll make things easier okay got her arm off remember it's the opposite arm on sailor chibi moon than it was on sailor moon's accidentally popping her head off made it a lot easier but oh my gosh she looks creepy let's get her head back on but because i popped off her head look you can see the details of the little heart on the choker it happened the bow fell off! Oh, these are the worst. Let me know if anybody out there has issues with these bows or if it's just me. We got Super Sailor Chibi Moon assembled. I love her hair. It is so thick and cute. Put her stand on. I do want to point out on the stand, guys, sometimes this comes this way and it needs to go this way, but do not apply very much pressure to this because this could snap. So just hold it at the base and try to twist it and then you'll get the right angle that you need. We got her on her stand. Here they are. Look at them. We can cross their little moon kaleidoscopes. They're so cool. I really like them, except I am pretty pissed about Super Sailor Moon's skirt being blue like that. That makes no sense. And it looks terrible. Oh my gosh, look at her little hair curls right here. All right, we'll go get some more shots of these. Set them up, not without any complication, but I got them all together. So look at Super Sailor Moon here. See how she isn't at the front of her stand. She's kind of just a little bit back a little bit compared to Super Sailor Chibi Moon. But since Super Sailor Chibi Moon is shorter, you have to push her a little bit forward. So she's at the very edge of the little figure arts mini base. You kind of have to tinker with them just a little bit to get them on the stand properly so it doesn't look like they're just floating there. But it's possible, believe me. I worked with it and I got them how I like it. They are about three and a half inches tall with of course Super Sailor Chibi Moon being a tad shorter. Their arms and legs are poseable just slightly. You can move them around a bit. Their heads of course can turn as well. You can move them up, you can move them down, you can move them side to side. Super Sailor Moon's pigtails are movable a bit but Super Sailor Chibi Moon's are not. So for those of you guys out there who already got these, what do you think of them? Tell me if your Super Sailor Moon one came with the defective skirt like mine did or not 
if it came normal. I know a lot of collectors out there already got these and reported that their skirt is the exact same way as mine with the weird blue gradient going on the white portion of the skirt. And I wanna know if anybody out there got one that wasn't like that. If you did, let us know and you are lucky. So here's the 90s Sailor Moon versus the Super Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Eternal. Now it does look like their eyes are different in terms of color, but not really different in shape. I'm glad they did update it a little bit. I would be mad if they used the exact same eyes. For the 90s figure arts minis, they did release all of the inners. So we have not only Sailor Moon, but we also have Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, and Sailor Venus. As of now, we do not have any confirmation that they will be doing the inners for the figure arts minis for Sailor Moon Eternal. We do, however, know that they are coming out with Sailor Uranus, Sailor Neptune, Sailor Pluto and Sailor Saturn. Those have already gone up for pre-order and are coming out later this year. Hope we see the Inner Guardians, but I'm not sure at this point. I did pre-order the Outer Guardians, so you can count on this channel to do an unboxing and review on those once I get them in. So don't forget to subscribe. I think I covered everything on the Super Sailor Moon and Super Sailor Chibi Moon figure arts minis. Please watch another video after this one if you've got the time. Check out my other socials. I post different Sailor Moon content and just other content in general on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So check those out if you haven't already. Share my channel with a friend. I want to continue on growing over here on YouTube and you guys doing that helps my channel grow. You also should think about joining my private Discord community. It's only $5 for lifetime access and we are almost to 40 members. I mean, I just need what, like two or three more people to join the Discord and we're at 40 members. Yes. 40 members. It's a super active community. Whenever I'm on my computer, you know, working on other things, I have my Discord app in the background and you can just hear it popping off. Like people are just having conversation after conversation. We're a cool bunch of people, if you ask me. Or if Discord's not really your thing, but you enjoy my content and would like to support my content further, I do have my tip jar through Buy Me A Coffee down there in the description below. You can go down there, click my Buy Me A Coffee link and choose what you want to do. Tips are appreciated. I'll also try to include and update links on where you can buy these gals if you want to get them for yourself. They should become more readily available as international stock comes in. So I would just keep an eye on my Facebook page or Twitter account or Instagram stories because I'll try to share every bit of knowledge that I come across on where you can get these guys if you want them. You know, I'm your merch mama and I'll keep you guys up to date as much as possible. Thanks so much for watching, all the support, all the comments. I appreciate you all so, so, so much, more than you'll ever realize. Oh, oh my God, it's so windy today. The wind is beating down out there, beating down. One figure arts mini, two figure arts mini, three figure arts mini, four figure arts mini. Oh my gosh, guys, I kind of got a little mini update, a little mini update. I got my new collection shelves from Ikea on Saturday. We went and took a day trip to go to Ikea. We've got an Ikea about two and a half hours away and I got my new collection shelves. So I'm going to be selling these collection shelves, taking them down, selling them on like Facebook marketplace or something and get the collection room up. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Come say hi to me on Instagram. DM me right now. Come say hi. Tell me you just saw this part of the video and you're saying hi.